Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Jane's Fighters Anthology. As we uh, start with the uh, non-campaign specific quick missions, so uh, I think we've more or less covered all the aircraft that could have possibly shown up in the uh, Baltic campaign. There are still another uh, number of aircraft to cover, but I think we can do that after the quick missions, or sorry, after the um, the single missions. So just looking through what we've done before. We've already done the Ukraine missions. The, we did the Baltics missions. We did the Egyptian missions. So that actually brings us to uh, France carrier strike. So let's see what this is about. Carrier strike. Bournemouth Air Base date May 12th, local time 1100 hours. Weather cloudy. Mission objective. French Clemenceau aircraft carrier was the object of an earlier attack. Excuse me, the object of an earlier attack. Your mission is to finish off the aircraft carrier with anti-ship missiles. British AV-8B Harriers and Belgium F-16s will provide air cover. Expect heavy air opposition. Expect suppression data, ground opposition, SAMs from enemy Type 69 frigates, air opposition, possible Rafaels and Mirages. Really, why? Are... Oh, here we go. Pot, Mirage 2000s and Mirage F1s. So, it looks like this is some sort of war between Britain and France, probably in the vein of the, um, the, oh, what were they called? The War of the Coalitions, kind of. Uh, the Napoleonic Era Wars, so. It looks like the Belgian F-16As and British Sea Harriers, and we are taking... Wait, we're American? Why are... Why would we be involved in this? Uh, doesn't let us... Okay, there we go. It does let us change it. I would think, uh... I would think this would be... <laughs> what would be really perfect for is the, uh... The tornado. we change our... Nope, I changed that, but... Because all we got to do is sink it, so... Uh, AS-15, that's Russian. Oh, does this not have support in-game for the Harpoon? Nope, there it is. Well, that gives us four Harpoons. And we can probably fit... Yeah, we could put some arm missiles. That's not gonna do any real damage, but... In real life, you would use those to take out kind of the, some of the ship's electronics, so let's go in with that. Alright, so we can just load up our... Uh... Looks like the carrier is just ahead of us. There she is. We'll wait for a radar pulse and then we can lose the harm missiles. We are being locked onto already. I don't know how well this is going to work out. Hopefully the... Uh... Hopefully our escort... Uh... Oh, are we just off course here? I don't know what the range is on this thing, at least it's modeled by the game, so... Alright. <laughs> Taking too long. So, we're going to launch now. And retreat. See, we want heading 360, or also just known as 000. zero, zero. I'll probably be good enough. Well, that should hopefully be at least five missiles. Uh, 
at the carrier. Um, more realistically, these probably would have been outfitted with Sea Eagle missiles, but... What do we have even, uh... Do we not have wingmen? Uh, I guess we do. They're focused on me, though, so... These guys are still, um, you know, they're still after us. Up, oh, I see the fighters are coming back to engage these guys, so let's start pulling out of our dive here. <laughs> We're going to switch to Sidewinders just in case. We are almost to the airstrip. We could probably hide in the city uh, if we really wanted to. Uh, low-level penetration skills. Apex inbound, drop tap. <laughs> Apex inbound, drop tap. They really, uh... Ow, ow, ow. I was gonna say, they really nullified their missile and really advantage there. Okay, come on. I guess this is our wingman. Who did not change over to a tornado like us. Uh, should have taken the Eurofighter. I don't know why our wing wasn't engaging them. But we are now at 90. Hell, that's a missile left. Okay, well, my complaints are with the Belgian, uh... Here my six. Showtime! The, uh, Belgian F-16s and British Sea Areas, 
don't seem to have engaged these guys at all, so I would like to file some complaints over there. Your seven oh man, this guy's super maneuverable. I don't know if we'll be able to catch him. Uh, that's why I was so disappointed when our... I was hoping... Oh, we got him! We got him! <laughs> Alright. I don't know how we survived that, but we did, so... Uh, we'll see if we can come in for a landing here at Bournemouth. I suppose, thinking back, the British do operate the... Uh, are going to operate the F-35, so maybe the Astaval would have been an okay choice, but I don't think we would have been able to put four harpoons downrange ourselves. Clear to land. Uh, looks like our flaps have been uh, damaged, so we're not going to get the extra lift from those guys, which is going to make landing tricky. But yeah, we are, at least we're clean, so. But our airframe is uh, shot to all hell with those uh, 27, er, trying to think. I want to say the French use the uh, death of cannon, but either way, we're, or whether it's 20, 25, 27, 30, we're millimeter shells, we've been shot to hell, so. Okay, we're about right. Hold her steady. Hold her steady. Oh, she didn't collapse on us. Thank God. Yeah, don't know what happened out. Maybe the Raphaels took him out, but with the amount of ordnance they were throwing at me, they, um... It certainly didn't seem like they had used any on those F-16s or, uh, or Sea Harriers. But I will say, uh, this perfectly showcased the, uh, the low-level strike, um, mode of this, uh, or mission of this tornado. Just the way we're cruising at supersonic or at times and at other times near supersonic speeds you know barely feet above Welcome the ground up. while uh, missiles are slamming in down all around us that can't track us because we're aligned with the ground clutter I mean that's what these guys would do for a living that's what they were designed for it's a very scary role and there's a reason why it didn't become popular until there were um, advanced enough avionics around to let the computer handle some of the, the terrain following. I think uh, A6s might have been some of the first with terrain following computers. I do remember reading a bit about them having some revolutionary stuff back in the day, but they were subsonic, so they were using it more to mask their position rather than doing the supersonic dash like we are. Alright, it looks like our wingman is coming in for a landing now. He took some hits from the Raphael, but uh, he's better off than we are at this point. <laughs> Alright, let's... Uh... It's always fun when uh, you take an aircraft that's inferior than the one the, uh, the game recommends at least in certain respects, like, certainly this would have been more survivable in the Astaval, because we would have been able to use Amrams to knock out the Raphaels, and then we just plug in anti-ship missiles at a distance. Whereas this, it's like, yeah, we could do that, but then we have no air defense, and we're solely reliant on the air production provided by the uh, mission designers. All right, so our wingman is landing. I think we'll be able to uh, take a park here. Oh wow, we weren't actually moving all that fast. 
I didn't even have to engage the brake to, uh... Yeah, there we go. Got some movement now. There we go. Close enough for government work. And we'll let our wingman taxi on over. Looks like he's using the uh, desert acid ball uh, theme, which is a uh, unique choice. You'd think they would have used European, but. Oh well, they all perform the same after all. Is he gonna stay like a good boy? He is. All right. So, so that is the first of uh, I believe this is a series of missions that puts uh, uh, pits England and France against each other. So I'm kind of curious to see where it will go. Debris. Bournemouth Air Base, date May 12th, Mission Carrier Strike, Resolution, Success. Congratulations, you successfully destroyed the Clemenchu. We did 90% damage, but we're still alive, our women took 54% damage, so... To our credit, we have one of the mules on the Clemenchu, we have the Clemenchu itself, and we have one of the escorting Raphaels, all in a tornado fighter. Our strike aircraft, really. And our wingman has the other Raphaels to his credit. Yeah, both of our uh, Sidewinders were spoofed, unfortunately. Our wingman only launched one missile in that hit, given the low damage value. I'm guessing it was a Sidewinder as well. Uh, all of our Harpoons hit, and uh, we had 22% of our guns hit, whereas our wingman only had 12% of his guns hit. Uh, there were 12 missile launches on us. I guess one technically counted as a hit. Because uh, we did get that 2% damage from the shockwaves of those missiles that buffeted us a little bit, but uh, otherwise the rest were apparently spoofed. I would argue that they failed, but um, yeah, they managed to hit us with 23% uh, of their gunfire for 274 points of damage. So that tells us, I guess, that in game terms our tornado probably has something close to about 300 hit points. Uh, and they hit our wingmen for 16% uh, of their gunfire directed at him for about 101 points of damage, and he's at over 50% damage, so that tells us he's probably at, the yes, Asphal is probably less than 200 hit points in comparison, which, uh, as far as the game goes, kind of makes sense, the Tornado being a heavy strike aircraft um, versus the F-35, which is more of a, or X-32 in this case, which is more of the light fighter like the F-16, so that was a very interesting and exciting mission, and I uh, can't wait to see what's in store. So with that, thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for next time, and stay safe out there, and we'll see you then.